Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. I'm really excited that we were able to forecast the crash in the crude oil. We were able to uh, discuss the drop that we have seen, sudden drop in the price of that we have seen in FTSE, which is right over here too. And we are still waiting for the prices to drop in the indices as well. And uh, we are looking for, we were able to discuss that gold and silver were able to come down and then this is what happened. So we are I'm really happy that I'm able to provide such a valued content to you guys. Um, now, the problem here is that some of you look at this analysis and since uh, you can see this is what Elliott Wave analysis is. You count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with impulsive wave followed by a corrective wave. You look at a pattern. The problem is that you cannot consistently do so with a high rate of success. There are so many alternation methods that uh, alternate waves that we have to count. This is how I personally do it is that I have developed a, different, a fusion of different methods <coughs> which involve WD GAN studies, which involved cycle analysis. And I'm not mentioning these names just because I know these names or I have done some, uh, you know, read some book or something. WD GAN analysis itself is extremely, extremely difficult once understood in its true nature. At WD GAN, a lot of people don't understand what a mathematician. He developed different sorts of mathematical models. And the problem with those mathematical models is that you have to, uh, of course, he was used to work about 16 to 18 hours a day. And the whole reason for that is because applying those models requires uh, coming to the data, finding the right data points, and then putting them into the, d uh, into the model and coming up with a solution. That's how that's how WD GAN did it. If someone is wondering actually how he was able to find uh, the accuracy that he did, I've I've worked hard in the last four to five years, and using a different combination of these methods, I was able to forecast the weave, uh, the different crashes in the market. When the stock music market was right at the top about five to six months ago, I gave an indication that we are expecting a depression, and six months later now the me main media is hitting with. Uh, with news that there is a possibility of recession and believe me then there will be a news as well coming for the depression whole reason is because the underlying uh, cycles the underlying patterns the underlying wave structures was actually telling us that and all of that does not come easy I have to spend hours and hours of research on that so if, if you guys are enjoying it I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying it here's the trouble and I, I'm going to be really honest with you guys if you are a subscriber I'm really going to be honest uh, with you. Spending these hours of work, we only have like like you guys. I only have, you know, hardly 10 to 12 to 14 hours, uh, working hours that I can work on. And you have to take rest. I have to make a living. The problem right now, I'm laid off from a job. That's why I'm able to put more some time. And especially in the last six months, you guys have seen me. My content has become much better. The whole reason for that is not because I have become better. The reason because I have become I have more time to analyze the market. Um, I'm spending hours and hours of this uh, time on the analysis to present uh, to present content with you. The d the drop that we have seen in crude oil, look, look, for example, if you guys can go back and tell someone that okay, um, we were able to forecast the crash right from the top over here when it was trading right over here too, and went up. I told that this was going to come and happen again. We were able to forecast the uppish move uh, to an extent. And then you were able to forecast the drop. And that more, more recently, you were able to drop uh, the forecast from the drop right over here. So all of this, if you were able to tell someone, and nobody would, is going to believe you, but the content is still well available out, out there. All of these moves are the moves which can make you money. It's not a 15-minute chart that is going to make you money because 15-minute chart, I promise you, are very, very unreliable. The patterns are very, very shaky in that 15-minute chart time frame. You do not want into into that ter territory unless you are aware of what happening on a on a daily time frame analysis, what's happening on a weekly time frame analysis, and what's happening on a cycle time frame analysis. So my my a lot of time you guys have seen my analysis is kind of a bit of stretched. You guys can see that there is some sort of uh, a certain degree of relaxation that the way that I use in Elliott wave analysis. I'm not really rigid. I believe that Elliott wave analysis is a reflection of mass psychology is not uh, other way, uh, the other way around that the market has to follow the Elliott wave analysis. I believe that Elliott wave analysis is the reflection of what's happening in the, in the society uh, in on a traders in a mass psychology level. 
the whole point of this is the you you getting access to this content is because I have spare time. I have to go back to my job in a couple of months time. Hopefully, I'll be entering the into job market again, and I'll be able to make a living for myself. If you guys are interested in in uh, seeing the same content with the same value, I need you support. I need you support that at least I can have at least four hours. I can do some part time job, and I can still uh, focus on the analysis. It's not a rocket science. Um, I have a degree in software engineering. I do not have a degree in eco uh, economics that I can go and work for a, a company that does the analysis. And I do not want to work for that. That is my own work. I, why should I be working for someone else? So if you guys want to support me, you can come join me. This one is gone now right now. We do not have. So what I, I'm going to do in, in near future is that I have to start charging about 200 US dollars uh, for this uh, whole stock market metals oil forex weekly report it is going to be probably most likely bi-weekly but at least it's going to be weekly so that's going to be 200 us dollars per month if you guys are interested you can right now join me on a 100 dollar usd and before it actually gets to the maximum price all right i have uh, um, another one and which is for crypto portfolio and i'm going to discuss for we are going to create our crypto portfolio we're going to make sure which cryptocurrencies to buy and I'm going to discuss about cryptocurrencies today. So we're going to discuss because whenever the bullish run comes and we're going to discuss about it, what we are looking into it. You want to make sure that you are selecting right cryptocurrencies. I've done some research on the cryptocurrency world and not all cryptocurrencies are showing the same patterns and not every one of them is going to get high. I'm talking about top 50, top 20 cryptocurrencies as well. Another question that I got in cryptocurrency, we'll discuss when we get into the section of cryptocurrency, we'll discuss definitely that, that point here. So I really appreciate that if you guys can, uh, can support me, uh, you'll be get, getting a 50% price reduction in next couple of months. The price is going to be, I'm going to hike the price by $200. In that case, this place would be limited. There will be no more entries into this section, into this tier of the Patreon. And... I'm not talking. I'm. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen my content, and you guys see seeing a wall, uh, see a value, seeing a value in it, right? So let's get into the analysis section. If you guys are interested in crypto, uh, creating a crypto portfolio, you can join me. Uh, we have already done three or four. I think three. Uh, we have already analyzed five currencies in it, and we found out the top currency that I'm going to invest my personally itself. Uh, and you can look into that top currency, what currency that I'm selecting for uh, that's going to be my favorite in the next one. And then we'll keep coming through the different cryptocurrencies as we go along. Enough of that talking. Uh, probably lots of you guys are new as well uh, joining. So sorry for that boring um, uh, boring speech you guys can see. But if you want to see the content value, you can go back to my channel. Um, you can actually look into the uh, previous week or the week before or the week before you'll find this clear pattern that you will be looking for for this bearish uh, outlook in the stock market in the crude oil and you were looking for gold and silver to be bullish and more recently I turned that to be bearish but I'm going to discuss more about that that why we were looking at bullish and where exactly gold and silver are right now I have been discussing about forex currencies as well major pairs we are going to discuss that f uh, today as well enough of the talking uh, I will be really grateful if you can join me on Patreon once again Let's have a look and start our analysis. We are going to start from, uh, this is going to be our timeline. We'll start with NASDAQ, Dow Jones, we'll start with SN, uh, then we'll continue with S&P 500, uh, FTSE 100, Tesla, we'll look at gold and silver, we'll look at crude oil, Bitcoin, and uh, let's have a look if I can have find Ethereum. Ethereum is probably further down. Uh, give me a moment. I want to bring it right over here, next to the Bitcoin. So we'll discuss Bitcoin and Ethereum. After that, we'll discuss Euro and New Zealand dollar, uh, British pound, Japanese yen, uh, Canadian dollar, US dollar itself, and we can look at uh, platinum. If any of you guys are interested in platinum, uh, we can look at platinum right next to uh, gold, silver, and platinum. So this is going to be our timeline. You can look at the chart, and you can see what chart I'm discussing. Let's start. First of all, uh, when I'm telling you guys that I'm anticipating the uh, the bearish uh, price movement to be completed around here, it's not simply Elliott Wave analysis I'm looking at. I have d some different data that are available to me. I'm looking into that data to 
there's a high possibility of this move to be completed around that double bottom right over here we might create a new low in this region right over here so in the next two three days i'm expecting that we are going to complete the pattern that we actually started from over here over here and over here more recently we have wave one and two wave three and four and i'm expecting that wave five or five will be complete and after that we are expecting to continue some correctional pattern most importantly a flat correction pattern that will take the initially prices right over here in this region come down and then go up but we, for that we have to wait let's have a look on an hourly time frame or a 15 for a time frame uh, hour time frame here we can see that there is a possibility of yet one more move up because we have seen a correctional pattern this is called a double three pattern starting from right over here too so you can see that we have come kind of a flat correction a zigzag and another zigzag happening all right or you can say that we have flat correction ended over here we have another flat pattern and then we have kind of a zigzag pattern so i'm expecting this gonna be happen something like this we don't have to see that but on a smaller time frame that's why 15 minute chart charts are extremely different so i'm expecting this in dow jones and i'm expecting that we shall be continuing uh, completing maybe in a day or two uh, the bottom or maybe we shall wait for the end of the the week all right so the timing on this one is a little off uh, and that's therefore we have to rely on the structure i'm expecting not i'm not expecting a deeper move in the in in the currency itself let's have a look at s&p 500 and a similar pattern being expected uh, in in right over here too and then we can adjust the labeling once we actually see the smaller wave complete we can adjust the labeling there is a possibility that this price movement that is going to come down is going to be part of the correction we'll discuss that later but right now my uh, alternating analysis is telling me that we are going to go up a bit and then come down or we can actually stay come down from over here our main target remains 3620 ish 3630 ish area uh, for s p 500 and i think i haven't discussed uh, Nasdaq just by drawing lines on the chart and putting one two three and four and five is not Elliott wave analysis I'm sorry to say that Elliott used to spend hours and hours before he could come up with a count and he was looking at all different sorts of time frames uh, putting one two three four five is not an Elliott wave analysis if you're finding an approach like that it's a terrible terrible way to do with Elliott wave analysis it's more more uh, complex than it looks actually so once again a similar pattern being uh, uh, possible in uh, Nasdaq 102 I'm expecting that this is what you're gonna see a uh, bottom is to become soon in Nasdaq and I'm expecting one that's bottom arrive round over here around 10,700 points 750 points we are to complete the pattern that actually started from over here at the top and also over over here uh, right from uh, which is wave end of wave four fifth wave after that the five wave structure would be complete this is a same pattern that we would be completing this particular wave one would be complete and then we'll be aiming for wave two which will actually i'm thinking that can take prices over here or in the upper region and make a flat correction there's a high possibility of that happening footsie if you have seen footsie uh, i was really happy with the drop that happened yesterday because you we were able to forecast that drop we were waiting for that drop it was right over here and over here when we indicated that footsie is going to drop and footsie is still going to drop there's nothing in that has changed in footsie the smaller time frame analysis we can definitely look into it let's have a look and see what's happening actually so right now i'm considering um, that I'm not going to discuss what exactly the pattern here is uh, maybe there is a high potential that when we consider the wave there are the possibility we will consider them wrong but let's have a look before we can actually do that let's have a look on a 15 minute chart all right mm. Give me a moment, I'm going through some um, 
I'll test in my mind from the data because Let's have a look on the daily time frame. Alright. I think I understand why it's jumping. And the reason why it's jumping is there is a possibility that the wave ended the correction did not end right over here this is only part of the correction this is wave B of the correction in that case we are to expect prices further up a little before it comes counts down in that case our one remains right over here which is fine our wave 2 would be right over here too in that case the outlook would still be bearish I already mentioned it FTSE is a little late it does not have to FTSE and all these markets are separate markets these are not the same markets I do understand that there are pairs that move together but these are separate markets otherwise it would be one market right so the whole reason they are separate market is that they are uh, different people there are different institutions interested on in those markets and every one of them is showing different structure some is a little earlier some is a little delayed so you cannot 100 percent rely on the on that another index right index uh, for the direction of that particular index right over here. For example, FTSE, we cannot simply rely on US markets. It can give you a general sense of trend that, okay, yeah, FTSE is crashing, uh, Dow Jones is crashing, S&P 500 is crashing, NASDAQ is crashing. In that regard, you can say that, okay, yeah, that's fine. But that's it. You cannot simply can make a trading decision based on these things. For our investment purpose of long long time durations you can make a duration you can say okay since the US economy is going down UK economy is going expected to go down and so is world economy is expected to go down too so you can make make a generic statement that all these uh, we are expecting to see some depression or recession in the world and that is expected to happen throughout the board and, and you can make a statement like that and it will be a valid statement in general but we are tra we're talking about ways we are, we are trying to find patterns and we are trying to find uh, next entry and exit point for that we have to rely on each and individual stock itself right now there is a possibility as we can see that we are seeing something like this right over here all right and let me see that we cannot use the support line because two out and we cannot okay we cannot use that not a good idea so this is what I'm looking at right now there's a high possibility of wave 2 be completed and what I've told you guys that I'm still looking from the top to be bearish that still remains true I'm bearish on FTSE and uh, let's have a look right over here and I'm bearish on FTSE for a good while I'm expecting although the pattern is not really convincing when it comes to the to the structure itself we were expecting a deep price movement in the FTSE somewhere right over, over here so I have to keep a close eye on FTSE itself I'm still bearish on FTSE but this price movement is not fitting in let's say that if price actually goes on right over here too and creates a double top um, double bottom uh, double top it is going to be an excellent condition to go short right let's say this actually do not happen and actually price moves right over here in this area in that case we will still be short right over here too that's why I'm trying to avoid uh, the the small time frame analysis okay because it's too difficult to call you cannot make a statement that okay only part of the correction because the the structure is complete within that within that correction right So I'll keep a close eye on FTSE. I'm going to look into the structure deeply and see what actually can find it. Uh, but right now, I do not want to make making uh, waiting on the on the video. 
So right now we are clearly foot in a, uh, I mean bearish on FTSE. I already told you guys that I'm looking for FTSE to drop significantly. Uh, our target that we, I gave you guys uh, for FTSE was 6,300, and this target is still remains valid. Nothing has changed as far as that target is concerned, right? Let's have a look at Tesla. Now Tesla has created. We were expecting wave four to be completed earlier. It looks like Tesla is now completing wave four. We have wave one and two, this blue one and three and four and five, and within wave five we have clear wave one and two, three and four, and five is expected to be complete very soon. And once again, I told you guys that I'm ex not expecting what wave five to be stronger wave further, uh, because we have already seen the strongest wave in wave third. I'm expecting that wave third, wave uh, uh, fifth is going to be somewhere around of the same target as this one right over here too, and that's why. A lot of time I do not if you guys are wondering right over here so I did this and then I did this and then I gave an uh, analysis right over here in this region a lot of time uh, when this happened GAN has mentioned that it does not have to go 8 by 8 we have 8 divisions a lot of time it will find resistance at 7 by 8 and why while well, you're thinking why is it possible I'm using this top and not this top because there's the possibility there is no confirmation there is a no confirmation that is going to tell us that this is a triangle so I found I'm like okay this is enough breadth in itself all right and I'm considering that this is going to be possible that there is a possible that we have created a top right over here in this case wave C was going to be an a B and C a flat pattern and wave C is truncated so that's why I gave you guys this target. If you guys want to use some of time, I'm going to reveal these things once in a while. I'm not going to explain how I, I reached the target. So that's why I came up with 603. Let's see what happens in the next couple of days. And that's what the reason I'm not expecting uh, for this price movement to go further down right over here too. We, spend have a, we have spent a lot of time right over here too. And this is giving us an indication that probably some sort of accumulation is happening. It is not yet final because we have one more wave to complete. So I'm not expecting that wave this would be sharply down. I'm expecting that we are going to see somewhere around 603 bottom. And in that case, we are going to see some price movement going up in Tesla. Now, gold is, uh, gold is at a very, very interesting stage right over here. If, if you guys were to see the underlying forces that's happening in gold and, silver, in gold and silver and platinum, that would definitely, definitely blow your minds. Things are really shaky in this moment. Uh, it's kind of a feeling when I'm doing that analysis the alternative analysis you get a feeling that things are getting uh, kind of forced into one area I mean someone has extremist uh, ex large amount of gold and silver that is being uh, sold on the market so do not get deceived by this there are clear indications in mathematical patterns giving us an indication that this pattern that we are seeing is someone is actually forcing or a group of people is actually forcing the market in one that direction it is not supposed to happen naturally in those as far as those patterns are concerned but you can definitely see that these things are being forced and this is only temporary so once again i'm repeating that the pattern underlying pattern are actually clearly showing the mathematical modeling is showing that these especially the precious metals and the uh, forex currency that I'm going to discuss, they are being forced in one way, right, in that corner. And that is not the uh, place where it's supposed to be. It's kind of when you stretch a rubber way at the end, it's going to come back sharply as well. That's exactly what we are seeing in the phenomena in, of go in silver, gold, platinum, and major forex pairs as well. We'll discuss them as well in a bit. So before we do that, and we say a lot of controversy is governing, because market is market, right? You have to, uh, you have to be able to uh, find a method we actually can afford. See, is therefore the best method I consider is a use of support and resistance. If you can master support and resistance, you would be better than 90% of the traders. But on a different league, not on a smaller time frame analysis, support and resistance study on a multi time frame analysis. So that you can easily perform, you can easily see where the date, daily time frame analysis is happening, where the hourly time frame waves are going, where the weekly time frame waves are going. So you have to be able to find those uh, daily time frame or at least weekly time frame analysis.
to make a lot of money otherwise on a 15 time frame been a time frame you're gonna miss a lot you're gonna mess a lot with with your money on a 15 minute time frame analysis so this green time frame trend line we are right now sitting on top of it and if you are investor in gold and silver right now gold and silver mining stocks are the best one to buy and hold all right once again if you are an investor in gold and silver and precious metal gold silver platinum are the best stocks mining stocks to hold, buy and hold they are going to provide you uh, with the next potential they are going to be massively increased in price this is what we are at least going to see in the price of gold and silver now I told you guys in my previous analysis that you are expecting for the price to go down and then you're gonna wait for it and I think the pause is expected to come right now in the price of gold and silver alright because we have seen almost the data that we wanted to see and right now I'm now waiting for the pause to happen that pause the next move that's gonna happen is gonna actually give us clues whether the gold and silver is gonna go up on this time frame or not or the sellers will still be in control alright because we are unaware of the situation next to it I already told you guys in my previous analysis that I was pretty sure that we had completed wave 4 I gave you guys indication there was a lot of mismatch happening and I told you guys that you were expecting gold to go down and then we will analyze again so right now gold has gone down silver has gone down and right now the best thing to do is to wait for the price of gold and silver if you are an investor you want to go long it's not a bad idea if it dips a bit it does not have a lot to dip but personally I'm gonna wait for the wave and let's see there's a potential couple of two three things can 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 possibly happen right now we can see a sharper reversal for prices to go beyond 1841 in that case you will definitely get an indication that we are heading upward right over here there's another potential that price can actually go up and stay in side wave behavior somewhere probably somewhere making a double three pattern or a triangle pattern in that case we will be indicating that okay even though we have fallen down the next move after that would be downside all right so the next move is going to be very important that will confirm our analysis of Elliott wave labeling I cannot simply go and put labels on a chart and expect market to follow that sometime there is enough tunnel open in front of you you can see sometime you have to wait for two three days data see how it behaves that's why when I talk some of times you guys have heard me that I'm going to run some tests and that's what tests are so right now I'm right now gonna wait for two three days and see how gold and silver are gonna expect uh, by the end of the week and then on weekend value analysis we are gonna expect uh, could come with an analysis for gold and silver this is for daily time price movement if you are a price if you are an investor in gold and silver I'm clearly indicating you that I'm bullish on gold and silver we are very close to forming a bottom or we have already formed a bottom and we are to see amazing amazing price movement in the price of gold and silver and platinum so I am bullish on platinum and all these precious metals and I'm bullish on the mining stocks as well as far as the retail traders are concerned they want exactly the point where to enter then exit for that we have to wait a bit same goes on with silver um, what a stunning price have behavior that we have seen in silver I would never expecting that once we were right over here that you're we gonna go come down and see silver around 1920 I think it went to eighteen dollar and ninety five cents so we have a similar analysis on silver as we have given on gold platinum once again providing a the historic moment uh, we are very very close to buying silver uh, finding a top or it has already happened so if you are a silver precious metals investor mining stocks or the precious metals are on the best place the next point to be discussed is the amazing drop that we have seen and I'm pretty sure that you guys can go and clearly see only this whole trade is worth a lot if you guys can see we had a clear pattern I adjusted the labeling and that's exactly how it's happening alright now I'm expecting that wave 3 is a high potential to be completed right over here with wave 3 of the next wave down we have already completed wave 1 and 2 
three and four is, uh, is uh, I think three is complete right now. We are to complete some sort of flat correction. I'm expecting. There's a high possibility that we are going to complete something like this. Once again, this is not a trading setup. This tool at a V4 is not a trading setup. It's merely giving you an indication that if this pattern, if you see this pattern, what I'm talking about, it's going to go up. <laughs> this is the opposite side. It's going to come down from over here. And it's going to go up again. So some side wave behavior is expected because we have seen a zigzag kind of behavior, a double zigzag, and we have to expect a side wave behavior again as per LDT wave analysis. And once away, you cannot apply these guidelines any way you find suitable for. They are all recorded in a separate environment, and for those guidelines to be used, a separate uh, sets or subset of data has to be present. You cannot throw that in there all of a sudden, okay, yeah, I have seen a zigzag now, the next move is going to be a flat correction. I still can be wrong right over here too, but the high probability of wave 4 is going to be a flat correction. Once that happens, you guys guessed it, what are we going to use? We have already got a price target for us. We are well aware from Elliott wave analysis is that when wave 3 is the sharpest, then the next guideline that we can use is this one right over here too. All right. Wherever we find the top, once again, we are to find the bottom at around 7 by 8 of the target okay there's a potential that we can actually meet 89 90 dollars but 91 dollar is going to be our target and at that time I will actually complete my bearish position right over here and that means that our 5 wave structure that actually started from over here would be complete and we have to wait for C and prices how the prices happen now this does not necessarily has to be one two three four and the price does not necessarily to be of the same size a lot of time we have labeling something that goes like here too in that case <coughs> we can use that too <coughs> so both are guidelines from Elliott wave analysis for that we'll have to dig deeper we look into team uh, time analysis and see what exactly right now we see but for that when when the market starts we'll get start getting clues what's most likely to happen so i'm still bearish on crude oil nothing has changed we are waiting for wave 4 to be completed in case you missed what i was talking about so we are waiting for wave 4 to com be com complete and this is a potential support area where wave, share, wave 4 should be uh, ending it's not a guarantee it's a guideline and after wave 4 is complete, we are to see prices drop somewhere around $91 because at that moment, prices would be around $100. We were to expect prices to drop around $90, $91 per barrel. Bitcoin. The most important point that I want to discuss on Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure that I'm long. I'm taking a lot of time in talking today. I want to be thorough. If you guys are interested in Bitcoin, I'm going to let you guys in a, in a human psychology uh, trap. Is, is the the best way human psychology stops a trader to make money you're gonna see an example what's happening right now this is what's going on from most of the people who are interested in cryptocurrency and they are looking at price it a lot of time when the price is trading at seventy thousand dollar you can ask someone you want to buy Bitcoin when it is trading around twenty thousand dollar they'll say yeah hell yeah why not Everybody would say, yeah, they want to buy Bitcoin at $20,000. Right now, what's going through on people's head is there because they have failed seeing this whole price drop. It's not their mistake. Right now, this is the first, and I'm going to discuss the second trap as well. The first trap is that right now, this is going through people's head. Since because they have lost a lot of money from over here, they are looking at $20,000. They're still looking, okay, if, if the price of Bitcoin drops to let's say fifteen thousand dollars. I can save five thousand dollars on one Bitcoin. That means I'll be saving like twenty-five percent, let's say, from the price right now. 
so and if it can go to ten thousand dollar i'll be saving fifty percent so i can buy double the coins this is what actually happening to in people's head there that if i wait a little and when prices go down i can go and i can double the my holdings the whole the whole point here is right now that why did your psychology change from it was trading at seventy thousand dollars and you bought at seventy thousand dollars and it's now trading at twenty thousand dollars and you're waiting for it to go to ten thousand dollars is there a guarantee so this is a it is a very common human psychological failure or trap which is gonna make sure that a lot of people uh, right now kind of greed is creeping in your head if you're thinking like that greed is actually coming in your head and you want to make more money in the whole reason because you have suffered losses and if even if you haven't suffered losses you say okay I can you know a similar thing can happen on the opposite side if it's right now trading at twenty thousand dollar it can go thirty thousand dollars you will wait for it to come to twenty thousand dollar and buy it it won't come thirty thousand it will come a bit down and we'll go further up you will wait more a little more you say okay when it's going to come make a pullback um, and then all of a sudden it's going back to seventy thousand dollars and now at that point you'll be beating your head how the hell did I miss the bottom right over here why did not I buy at twenty thousand dollar it's not because you were able to uh, not see the prices is because greed is creeping into your head you are well aware that cryptocurrency and there are certain coins that are really strong are going to go back into the territory in around the top and a lot of people I'm not talking about technical analysis I'm not talking about technical analysis I'm asking a simple question if a coin was trading at seventy thousand dollars and you're willing to buy at seventy thousand dollars why are you not willing to buy at twenty thousand dollars you, the whole reason is you have been you want to buy more greed is coming in you do not want to see that you already have saved fifty thousand dollars just on one bitcoin for for some reason human mind just neglects it and this is one of the human psychology problems this is comes with with the training you have to look look for what's happening in your head and you have to decide what to do in an objective way the second question is a lot of people are saying it's going to go fourteen thousand dollar my question to you is you're relying on your analysis were you were you hundred percent right in your analysis when it was dropping if you were exactly right in your analysis you were able to see this drop massive drop you were able to see previous drops and your method was enabled uh, able to help you see this drop and this drop in that case you can rely on your analysis and you can wait for Bitcoin to go on fourteen thousand dollar if your analysis and only you and you can do so have been failing successfully and you have been only following the market trying to find an analysis every time even though your last 10 analysis have gone wrong but human mind is not ready to accept it human mind is so rigid in that regard the self ego is such strong it cannot let you know that you were wrong 10 times in a row you say no no yo, you just missed it for that reason now I'm gonna catch it Oh, no 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 I missed my analysis for that reason the whole reason is because a lot of people are not analyst you do not become an analyst but just by reading a chapter of technical analysis or a one week of technical analysis reading about support and resistance does not make you a technical analysis finding some two or three rules about Elliott wave analysis does not make you a technical analysis you have to spend years or at least a year at least I would say you have to come to the data you have to see that the different patterns possible you have to see that there's a potential all of a sudden that there is a, a wide crash that happens tomorrow in Asian stock market India's stock market is huge it, cr it crashes down Europe's stock market crashes down what is gonna stop the investors they have billions and billions of dollars what are they gonna do gold is they are well aware of it their gold is not really performing well so they have two assets at that point Bitcoin cryptocurrency and the other one is precious metals what other what other asset is there they want to put money in bonds when the uh, there is a possibility they can put money in the bonds and wait for a better interest rate because interest rates are going to go up too but if they let's say they want to do diversification they don't want to put all of that money in just bonds and because real estate is not going to perform well during the inflation a lot of people will have not money to support their mortgages and there is expected to uh, for the prices to come down and I'm talking that the point here is that if your analysis has been right 
you are well in right to use that analysis methodology and you can say that I'm waiting for Bitcoin to go down at $14,000 if you have not been right and it's only your mental attitude or your self ego I won't say mental attitude it's actually self ego it's a clear concept in in the uh, I'm Muslim thanks God I'm a Muslim and it's, it's a clear concept of self ego there's if you go and uh, read different and I'm not talking about Islam only if you go and all these different uh, read different uh, uh, scriptures or books there's a massive massive self ego in all of us as for all major religions it's not only by that Islam is saying that all major religions I respect everybody I, I'm not gonna start a discussion over the religion the point here is that self-ego creeps in in such a manner we cannot believe that it is gonna happen so that if you haven't been able to find the uh, the bottom or the price analysis right you do not want to rely back on that again I have done some analysis on a crypto portfolio which cryptocurrencies to buy it's a very very nice series I have developed a method uh, which is a combination of once again um, Elliott wave analysis uh, WD GAN analysis I have written some steps you can use those steps uh, to go and every time when a stock market crashes you can use those methods to find the leaders and I'm going to use that method to find the leaders we're not going to find the startups that are going to explode 10,000 times 20,000 times but this method is going to guarantee that let's say we are going to analyze 100 top currencies we have enough data for 100 top currencies or let's say then we can actually come through the data we can find which of one of them are healthier and we can find the leaders in the market I'm not promising that it's going definitely gonna happen but it's going to be one of the approach that we can use I'm going to use that filtration method if you guys are interested there is already video posted you guys can come join me on my uh, patreon page and crypto if you join crypto portfolio in the future the crypto will not be discussed in the weekly analysis it will be separate I, I want to provide some uh, separate uh, approach for the people who are interested in crypto so you can come join me on crypto uh, on my patreon so once again <coughs> we have been expecting for the crypto uh, we have been expecting in crypto uh, that bottom has happened right over here too unfortunately the price has not happened has not moved as you were thinking so right now the price has not moved I have bought some crypto at the bottom uh, somewhere around, around, around this region. not at the bottom I have bought some crypto today and yesterday around in this region it not necessarily Bitcoin I'm saying then Bitcoin is trading right over here so I'm right now expecting Bitcoin to go bullish I'm expecting that we have completed wave 1 and 2 and we are to go upward the price movement has yet not happened yet and once again I'm expecting that we are to see bullish move in cryptocurrency from over here ethereum once again I wanted to discuss a similar point right to here we can see uh, that we have kind of completed an impulsive and a corrective I'm expecting prices to continue on although prices spend a lot of time right over here and in this region right over here too so there's the potential and one thing I wanted to discuss about cryptocurrency I know I am boring you guys I'm well aware of it I went into the cryptocurrency history uh, and Ethereum and some other coins I'm like what happens how do uh, how does the all of a sudden a cryptocurrency jumps from let's say 50 cents to five dollars and what I've seen is stunning you do not want to buy crypt buy a coin and sell it buy a coin and sell it and then expect to find a bottom and then buy again the trading in cryptocurrency is completely different from other assets reason is because if a wave 3 is happening wave 3 would be making a thousand percent or a twelve hundred percent or a fifteen hundred percent of wave 1 it's not that it's going to make a separate waves no it means that we were using Elliott wave analysis and we were expecting that wave 3 is normally 1 by 1.618 as per Fibonacci analysis 2.0 2.618 uh, yes I'm aware of those I do not simply use it so normally we expect that kind of behavior in within wave 3 for other assets that includes gold silver stock market everything crypto is different crypto jumps in wave 3 in such a manner that one cannot believe and if you're out of the market in that particular coin you have missed your opportunity 
because prices are not going to come down at that level, especially in that bullish run. After the bullish run is, ha is complete, that's a different thing. Right now, I'm expecting um, uh, my target is to catch the next bullish run in cryptocurrency. So you want to buy cryptocurrency and hold it because you do not want to crypt sell cryptocurrency when it's jumping, let's say, 10 times within two days. And I've seen this behavior. This behavior here is completely new. That is the reason uh, we, we see that a lot of price movement happens in cryptocurrency. We see a huge, massive prices uh, swings. So this is one thing that I've learned from cryptocurrency. If you guys want to use it, uh, you're welcome. Now, Euro, yeah, we have, uh, before we can actually, let's have a look, actually discuss Euro. Okay, this is, uh, every, uh, we have discussed this chart quite a many times. I'm still not neglecting that chart right over here. I'm not sure what trigger is going to happen. I have, I'm well aware of uh, that we are, ter right now bears are in control. In Bitcoin, uh, I mean in, in uh, Forex, US dollar is getting stronger and stronger and it seems there is no end for the strength of. I'm not sure what trigger is going to happen. The cycle analysis is providing that we are to see a larger move upward. Alright? And that's why we are to wait next few days more. The next move that happens, let's say, can easily cross this price movement right over here, this top right now. That will be indication that we would become um, bullish on Euro. I'm waiting on Euro. I have never advised that on my YouTube channel too. Right now, I get a feeling from my data analysis that I'm using on Forex and gold and silver that it feels from that data the, the models have been stretched to the farthest that I have observed in recent history. It means that it looks that something, a group of people wants to make sure the whole world is on the bearish side on Euro and then that they would become bullish on Euro. It's not on Euro basically, it's basically on US dollar itself. So a group of traders, a group of um, huge capitalists are interesting in pushing dollar up and up till everybody is bullish and then they will turn bearish. This is what I'm observing right now. So I'm going to wait for Euro, I'm going to wait for New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, and British pound to provide uh, a point where we can say that from confirmation that the, the fall that actually started from over here has completed. That's why you have seen me, I'm kind of following that data at no, because we do not know at what point their selling would stop in Euro and at what point their buying in US dollar would stop. Uh, I'm unaware of, I do not have the volume data, I do not I'm not aware of how many billions of dollars or trillions of dollars are flowing in that and those assets right now. We are clearly, I promise you, I'm clearly seeing um, that gold and silver and platinum and US dollar have been pushed farthest from those models indicating that this is an unnatural, this is not a regular phenomenon that we are seeing in those things. So once again, uh, this same uh, analysis goes for Euro. New Zealand dollar, British pound, Japanese yen is performing a little different, uh, Canadian dollar, and US dollar itself. So it's basically the same pattern, right away, as you can see. So for US dollar, we're going to wait for the break of this area, which is 101 right now. When a break happens, that will be giving us indication that at least the, the bulls that were in control in US dollar are not in control anymore. So you're going to follow uh, you know, these indices for a while, these uh, currencies for a while. I spent a lot of time today and I've bored you enough. I'm well aware of it. I'm really requesting that some of you guys can actually join me on Patreon. If you can join me on Patreon, you'll be saving 50% of the uh, fees and I'll continue your subscription on lower price. You do not have to, have to pay uh, 200 US dollars uh, in the next couple of months, I would say. And you will keep that uh, savings for uh, as much as you want to keep it with me. And if you join me later, then of course new prices would include. I'm the whole reason I do not want that to do. I do not because I would love to do analysis because I'm doing it for myself anyway. 
the whole reason I've told you guys is Elliott Wave Analysis is not about finding labels and then putting them on the data. Analysis takes a lot of time and you know if you guys like that quantity. If I was a trader in my early stages and I, it was fine thing if I, it, it was finding the same quantity of the content you know same amount of time being spent to come up with the conclusions I would definitely pay for it. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.